everyone. Thank you for tuning in. 80 series time and we've got another repair to do on the 80. This time, this window as you can see has now had it. Now before we get into how to actually fix this window, I know it's laborious, I know it gets boring but I have to say it anyway. I am in no way shape or form a qualified mechanic, therefore if you are following along with this service and repair you are doing it at your own risk. So this one's now fallen out and I've got to put it back into its um, mounting rail. So I'm going to pull the liner off the door. I'm going to show you how I get the window back into the mounting rail. So let's get the door liner off. Right, so the window's out and I've got the bracket back on, but I'm actually going to tell you how to get these back on. Now I couldn't show you how to do it because you need two hands in order to get this back on. But what the easiest way to get these back on to the 80 series window is don't start from this end you need to pull it on from this end and you're going to need brute strength to get it on because it's an extremely tight fit especially if your rubbers have aged okay and of course with age rubber wears out as we know now the other thing is you know i've got trouble with the windows going up and down so what we're going to have to do is get some windex or something and clean the edges of this you can also see here the edge of this needs cleaning and um, also clean along here. If we look at the other side of it, the inside of the glass. Now, my father used to work a lot with glass, so I, I know how to treat glass. We need to clean all this off in here, get rid of all the sticky stuff, and also clean up along here. Now, the best thing to use in this case, which I've used many times in the past, is just a bit of Windex. But, as I said, you're going to need brute strength to get these back on. Now, I used a bit of silicon spray through the rubber to try and soften up the rubber so that I could slide this on a bit easier. Sort of makes a bit of a mess of you, as you can see. But you will need two hands to get this back on. Okay? Then to put the window back in is pretty easy. I'll show you how to put the window back in. But first off, let's get our hands on the Windex and uh, we'll clean up this glass. Right, well, I haven't got any Windex, but I managed to get my help, hands on a bit of Nifty. So I'm just going to run down where the Bailey channels are. All right. Just to free up the... Uh, free it up along the Bailey channel. You can do the same thing on the other side as well. It doesn't matter whether your windows are tinted or not. This stuff doesn't tend to affect it too much. But you're just trying to get the grime and dirt off the Bailey channel. So we'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we've got the side of the glass fixed up where it runs down the Bailey channels here. And this Bailey channel as well. So that's going to improve or reduce friction on that side. We've got this seated now again. Now to put the window in, it's actually quite an easy job. But you are still going to need two hands to do it. And I'll show you the easiest way of doing it pretty much dead easy all right you basically slide the window in from this side of the car and you slide it in at 45 degrees so that you can at least get this end of the window into there right and then simply slide it back down there now the one thing that i did forget to mention just quickly make sure you've got a little lip just there just on the outside of the um mounting brace here in order for the glass to actually fit into the bailey channel otherwise the, the thing won't line up all right let me show you what it's like to get the glass back in so basically you slide the window in you'll need two hands to do this okay and then you can just leave it rest on that bar right there until you're ready to put the whole thing back together now putting it back together you've got to remember once the glass is back in that rail Right, where is it? this rail here? There's no give in it. There'll be no flex in that rail. So you are going to have a bit of a fight on your hands trying to get it to put back in. Now, what I'd suggest is I think I've whoop, bit of, oh, well, almost lost the screw then. Hang on. I'd use a, uh, I can tell you what the, uh, so it is a, it's a 10 mil socket. On an extension bar now you're going to need the extension bar not necessarily for this end but you need to get it in here now when you're getting the window lined up i'd line it up with this hole here so you can get in there 
like that. All right, let's get this window put back in and see what happens. So as you can see, I've got this one in here and that one in there. Now, I personally get them finger tight first before I start ratcheting them up. That way you can, you've still got give in it to get it back into the Bailey channel on this side and on this side. So you're gonna to need to make sure that you've got it in the Bailey channel. Otherwise, if you go to raise the window, you're gonna break it. So let's get it tightened up and make sure it all lines up. All right, now, don't do them up too tight. Just do them up until you don't, you can't move them too much further. And what you can do, now just bear with me while I uh, turn the radio off. Why we don't get into trouble. You can actually test that the window's working properly. Assuming you can hold the uh, thing out. Oh. There we go. Now it's marginally better, but it is now going up, whereas it wasn't before. So at least now it works properly. So there we are, that's how to reattach the bottom mounting rail to an 80 series driver's window and try and improve its up and down, I guess you could say. Anyway, there we are. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.